using Angular, we develop front-end applications which run on browsers or mobile devices. And the data for the same comes from another server using an application typically called as a RESTful service. Since we are not interested in creating our own RESTful service using technologies like Java or Node.js or Python, we are trying to make use of already existing RESTful web services or also known as APIs. To make application interesting, we will get the movie details from a website called omdbapi.com. This provides us something called RESTful endpoints like this http colon www.omdbapi.com slash api key equals to your api key followed by an ampersand symbol and then followed by parameters such as i which corresponds to an imdb id t for example is for the title and likewise we have some search options and so on and so forth to get your own api key you go to the api key button over here you can register for free, which allows us to hit 1000 requests. I'll give my email here. Let's say, for example, learning at vinod.co, name Vinod Kumar. Uh, use, let's say, for learning. I click on submit. And now I should be able to see that a verification link to activate your key was sent to learning at vinod.co. So I should be able to open my email and you can see I have the OMDB API link here. So I've got my key D20039F4. You can use the same ID as this is only going to be used for learning purpose or alternately you register by giving your email ID and you get your own API key. You can also see that we have to click this link to activate our key. Otherwise you will not be able to access our guest. So let's click on the same to activate. It says that your key is now activated.